Welcome to the rough guide to Apache NetBeans IDE 11.0. The first thing you will notice as someone who has been using NetBeans for a number of years is that the new project dialog has been reorganized. For the first time, we have Maven listed first. Normally, Maven was hidden somewhere within this structure. We have the ant related projects clustered over here. And we have brand new support for Gradle. Below that, you'll find HTML5 and JavaScript and PHP. What you will also find is that for the first time in Apache NetBeans, we have integrated support for Java EE, which is also a very big step forward. In other words, the enterprise cluster. So what can you do with all of this? Well, for a start, if you have an existing Maven project that makes use of Java EE or Jakarta EE, you will notice that you'll be able to open those projects and work with them directly in NetBeans without needing to install any plugins. So out of the box, those kinds of projects will work and will be editable and usable inside NetBeans. Secondly, the Gradle integration that we have for the first time works in a very similar way. So I'm going to go to a Gradle project on GitHub and here it is. So I'm going to say um, that I want to get its URL into my clipboard. And then back inside NetBeans, I'm going to say git and clone and just pop in that URL, click next and use the git integration to pull in that project uh, from GitHub. And thanks to the Gradle integration, NetBeans will recognize that content as an actual Gradle project because in the same way as a Maven project has a POM file, which NetBeans understands, Gradle has a build file, a build.gradle file that NetBeans understands. And now you can see your project structure and your libraries and so on neatly organized thanks to the brand new Gradle integration. Next, uh, thanks to the integration of the enterprise cluster, you're able to set up Java EE related uh, servers directly inside of NetBeans. So built in, you have support for Apache Tomcat and Glassfish. And on the way as well is Wildfly and other servers, but these are here out of the box. What you can see when you click next is that you can um, choose to download one of several different versions of Glassfish, including the latest the Eclipse Glassfish Server 5.1. You are highly recommended if you are going to do development with Java EE and Glassfish or Java EE and anything at all, or I should actually say Jakarta EE, of course, that you run NetBeans itself on JDK 8. So you can see that I am running NetBeans here on JDK 8, and I'm doing that because I want to use Glassfish or another Jakarta EE based server and those servers and Jakarta EE itself supports JDK 8 and not later versions. So if you were to be running NetBeans on a later version, you might end up using tooling and also code in your application that does not deploy to that server because that server only supports JDK 8. And you also find that when you start the server, the assumption is that you have JDK 8 available. So even if you're running NetBeans on top of a later version of the JDK, you will be prompted right here when you try to start the server to point to JDK 8, because that is what Jakarta EE at this point requires. Also, when you go to the Apache NetBeans 11.0 features page, you will find that there is now also support for JDK 12. So you can run NetBeans itself on JDK 12, and there is new support for the enable preview feature that has been introduced in JDK 12. So there are a number of preview features which you need to enable. And for the moment, this can be enabled in NetBeans and base projects. Um, this is possible in Maven as well, though the NetBeans editor will not recognize that at the moment. There is an issue being worked on related to that. And once you've done that, you'll be able to make use of the new features that JDK 12 provides, in particular, JEP 325 relating to switch expressions. When you move further down the list, you will see that work has been done on high DPI icons for Windows and for Mac. And you can see the comparisons in terms of scaling and how they look. 
and you're welcome to give feedback on that integration as well. Documentation is being written, support is being added and has been added relating to Maven. A lot of work has been done on this release and we thank everyone involved. We are at the moment working on becoming a top level Apache project, which should happen in the next week or two. Thanks very much. Enjoy Apache NetBeans 11.0 and see you on the mailing lists.